Welcome to my very first video. Today I will unbox my first ever lathe Proxon PD250 Mini Pre Precision Lathe. Let's do it. I bought it from Amazon and arrived me in two days. I received the box without any other packaging. The box is weighed 16.13 kilograms. Picture of lathe is printed on front side of package with black and white colors. Some explanation is written on left and right side. After opening the box, manual, safety regulations and catalog welcomes us. I remove the top styrofoam. I see the lay and its components. Package comes with screw cutting change gear set, transparent protection screen, spindle, chuck key, allen key set, shim set, short belt, precise chuck, one handle, and with some screws for assembling parts. There are three separate levels and we adjust by changing belt location. Belts and pulleys are located in the left. To reach there, I am loosening the screw on the front side. Don't forget to close and tighten the screw if you want to carry lathe to another position by holding from plastic case. Otherwise, you can break the hinges. We can adjust gear cutting steps by changing the gears according to manual. This lathe is capable of 0.5 to 1.5 mm cutting steps. Spindle is running on precision ball bearings. There are 3 metric 5 screw holes for mounting 3 jaw chuck. Also there are 4 metric 4 screw holes for mounting 4 jaw chuck, but you need to buy this separately. I am starting mounting self centering chuck to spindle. I am using 4 metric 5 screw. Then I'm installing hand wheels. There is one metric for screw and bolt for tail stack. I'm tightening it when I need to support long work pieces. I'm loosening metric five screw in the support to change its angle. Now I'm installing protective screen. It also has a safety switch. When it's not correctly closed over chuck, you can't start late. Now let's start the motor and make a test. There is an on off button you need to press first. Then you select the direction and let it start working. There is one switch on the bottom of the panel for manual or automatic cutting. I use here for cutting screws. But with the right gear it also has an auto cutting function. I should change this switch when it's stationary. But as you see I made a mistake by changing gear when it's running. I will make a drill chuck shot using my lathe in the end part of this video. My chuck is marked UNF24. I checked the table and UNF24 is almost similar to 1 mm pitch. So I'm changing the gears for 1 mm pitch. I will try to make 1 mm pitch screw shot and we will see if it's work.
This is my design for the shaft. I will try to make this with my new lathe. Shaft is 10 mm wide to exactly fit my milling machine collet. Major diameter of screw is 7.938 mm and the screw pitch will be 1 mm. I'm using 18 mm rebar for this project because I only have this around. I tried to cut it by hand but it took so long. I'm filling some rough surface and trying to make three flat points that my chuck can hold the workpiece. Then I'm adjusting my cutting bit height. I'm trying to make it same height with leaf center. To adjust height of cutting tool, I am using different size shims comes with the lathe. They are very useful and practical. The rubber is very rough on the surface, even I tried to file it, it didn't work. So I came with an idea. Proxon chuck shelves are short, I couldn't fix the workpiece. So I'm using 100mm chuck I previously owned and fix it to the Proxon chuck and it easily holds the rubber. I'm just doing this to make a center hole for the leaf center and then I will make a holding surface for the original proxon chuck. Let's see if it's gonna work. Rebar is very rough, I think it, its surface is also hardened because it's not easy to cut. After spending some time, I could make a short but even surface. I can use this surface on small chuck.
Then I will make a hole in other side of the workpiece. Rebar is hard to cut with high speed steel, so I decided to use ceramic insert. It cuts better and easier. I mark the land I want to make shaft. Shaft is perfectly fit to my milling machine collet. Now I'm making screw sides. Well, I think pitch difference is causing some problem. So I shortened the screw side and now it fit to the drill chuck. Everything look good now. Thank you for watching my video and please subscribe.